All right, so we've got Jordan Fisher. Oh, snap. One of the first things I read uh, when I Googled you just to sort of get some background information was mm -hmm. triple threat. Triple threat. Triple threat. Is that triple all? Triple threat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I was going for four. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for hanging out with us. So you're going to be at Ruth Eckert Hall tonight for Dancing with the Stars Live. Yes. Now, I have to ask because you and Holly started this conversation Sorry. off the air. Sorry. Okay, Sorry. let's get back at it. Okay. okay. <laughs> I feel like I feel like it started to get a little heated. Seriously. So, so today is Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Now, you said that you don't like Valentine's Day? I'm indifferent. No. Indifferent. I'm indifferent. indifferent. Because yeah. he says he's one of these people that tells their girl they love them every day. But don't you think that you need at least one day to be like, let me go above and beyond? Like, I super love it. Yes! I, mean, like, I write <laughs> songs about her. We've been best friends for forever, right? Mm. We grew up together. We've been in each other's lives for almost 12 years yeah. wow. right and so we've been together together for a year and change it's been a thing for a while like it's you know it's it, she she everybody everybody knows how much i love her she knows how much i love her i write i literally write about her i create about you like, are a musician who what, puts all of it out exactly like i'm just i mean i just tell i tell stories whether they be my own or somebody that i have I'm an observer. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a like part of art in general is perpetuating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. right. Like, I don't know your life, but here's what I see. And mm. I'm probably going to make a song out of it. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And so I give that, I don't need like February 14th to, to, Oh, I mean, like, I love you, and here's a gift. Like, you know Holly's I mean? crying right now. Do you yeah. see her? She's like, yeah, yeah. 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 But what about my chocolates, though? Yeah, but, like, I'm going to get you some. You want some chocolate? Like, we'll do the balance. That's what I'm saying. I'm indifferent. I don't right. dislike it. I'm yeah. just... Because so many people do hate it. Some people, yeah. those are bitter people. No. They are they, very they, bitter. Miguel, people we don't, we won't really. We was won't, one of the bitter people. No, I, when I'm single, I, oh this is the God. worst day. Like I wear all black. <laughs> I'm Singles Awareness Day. You got the veil. I have a meetup oh, at awareness. the buffet. Like I'm over it. But I'm in a relationship now, so I'm like, I love it. There it's you great. go. It's there you go. There so go. I'm curious. So you and your girlfriend have been known each other for 12 years. Right, yeah. But it's obviously it's long distance because she's in college, right? Right. So she's in school for clinical dietetics. So she's yeah. just like swimming in the medical world and wow. doing that thing. But so how do you? keep that going when you're weeks. trapped because you're all over the place yeah absolutely every three weeks thankfully we have the ability to see each other often we mm. we make an effort you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's, like, it's like anything if you find something that you that you love that mm -hmm. you know that you can't really do without you make time for it you do it whatever the thing is you make the commitment mm -hmm. and you execute and that's exactly what we did we're like you wow. know we're you're doing your thing and I want you to do your thing and I'm doing my thing and I know that you want me to do it. This is a season that we're going to be in. Mm. Thankfully, again, you have, when you have the foundation and that is there and it's, there's a structure. And you do. There and we do. When you have that and there's the trust and the friendship and the on, like it, there's, there's full transparency and the most pure form of love that there can possibly be in that thing, then you're just like, all right, cool. Like, I love you. I'll see you in a few weeks. Like, mm. And it's great. And it is there sadness though every time there's a parting? Yeah, absolutely. For, it, when, when, every time there's like holidays or parting. Anytime you're oh, like parting, parting, you're like, yeah, oh, sure. that my heart hurts. But then you realize, okay, I got something to look forward to. For sure. Well, I mean, thankfully we're both like, wildly independent, and we kind of mm. we kind of have to be in both of our lifestyles. Yes. We have to know how to exist by yourself and do your own thing. And even sure. when we are together, we still like we well we we're good doing our own thing mm -hmm. you know what i mean especially mm -hmm. in my industry having that having the ability to be at an event or something along those lines and for to know that she's fine if i've got to go and mingle and do the thing she's cool she's chilling she go get some food and make a new friend and wow. she's a good and partner just, for that she's a, the best partner yeah mm. you know what i mean yes when you have when you can find somebody where you're that's like, a different thing I, I love doing life, but like I want to do it with somebody mm -hmm. and I want to, I only want to do it with you. Right. <laughs> then everything else That's is, awesome. everything else is cake. I could not it's agree more. Yeah. Well, how did you decide to make that leap? So you guys were friends, friends, friends. I don't know the backstory. So I, like, I mean, I flirted. <laughs> <laughs> I, you, you Holly, he's a triple threat. We he grew danced up together. and he Come sang on. and he wrote a song. Yeah, that's what it's I'm not saying. that hard. We, we was there any? Threat. Was she <laughs> feeling the same thing at the same time so, as you were, or so did it take some convincing? Here's what wine does to you. Oh, okay. Uh, wine is <laughs> makes you feel it's, all types of ways. Courage juice, yes. right? That's what it was. Uh, so I knew all, all of a sudden over the course of a little while, I was I was like, oh, you. you Kind of cute. Like, oh, okay. We were friends growing up, I was, but we, I kind of started. You know, we, you grow and you do the thing, and yep. all of a sudden, when you have some time apart and you don't see each other for a while, and you don't, you don't, you you stay connected. All of a sudden, mm -hmm. it turns into like, hey, 
what you doing? Like yeah. she started talking about yeah. these guys that she's seeing and going out with, and I'm like, why am I feeling some type of way? What's going on right now? I feel like that's when you know and when you're like, I don't like that. Exactly. Well, she was like, boys are stupid, and I'm like, we're not all stupid. But mm. There's some of us. You're like me in particular. Why did I? And that was that was literally how it, how it began for me. Wow. Like, did, I just, did I just say that? Yeah. Mm. Why did I just say that? Yeah. And then that turned into me flirting and doing the thing for a while, and then eventually I was like. I, I went to a friend's house and we, uh, it was a dinner, it was a little dinner party, like specifically for me because I just got back in town from a project. Mm-hmm. And I go over and we're hanging, we're talking, we're eating and, and uh, I had a couple glasses and I was feeling good. <laughs> and uh, I saw this picture of this beautiful little mixed girl and uh, I'm mixed, she's white. Like we just, we love ethnicity, we love diversity and all these different things. And so like, I, I sent her this picture. I was like, this is what a daughter's gonna look like. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> that is bold, sir. That could have backfired. Horribly. Wow. So I send, Ooh. I send that thing, and she, a minute later, sends back a picture of this beautiful little mixed boy, and is like, "But I want boys." <gasps> oh, and shoot. she was like, heart. "We started oh, talking about it for a second. And I was like, "Well, I want girls." She's like, "I want boys," and she's like, "You know, we typically people, people don't talk about this stuff in, unless they're dating." And I said, "Correct." I said verbatim. I said. I'm trying to date you, but you won't let me. She's like, wait, what? And oh. I was like, I've been flirting with you for a minute. She's like, I have been oblivious. And sometimes that's how it goes. Newsflash, I have feelings for you. Ooh. I left my friend's house. That's crazy. Oh. I went home. We FaceTimed for four hours oh. and like talked about everything. Just oh my okay. gosh. So that's kind of what got the ball rolling. We talked about it for a while. We saw other people, whatever. And then I w- when I was working on Hamilton, she came up to visit. And uh, well, I, we just kind of talked to him. I was like, I think we should just go on a date. I'm like, let's You're see like, what happens. Let's just yeah. do this. Let's just like give it a shot. I was like, do I fly you up? Like, what, like, what, 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 what's appropriate here? She's like, I'm gonna fly up. I'm gonna get a hotel. Come pick me up. Let's go on a date. Let's see what happens. Perfect. Wow. That's exactly what. She, that's exactly. She she landed. She flew up. She got a hotel. Elevator door open. First time we'd seen each other in person in three years, and that was it. We, mm. we, we decided the next day we were like, "Hey, we're gonna we're, we're gonna do this." You're like, "I'm in." That was it fully? That's the sort of story I love to hear on Valentine's Day. Oh hey. my god! Did it, did that, it did warm did that make you feel better? Did that I make love, you feel that better? Makes my, that makes it all better. Indifferent about Valentine's yes. Day, I love we've it. got a great yeah. story. I, I love it. Wow. Yeah. I love it. So now mm-hmm. you you just mentioned you've done Hamilton, mm-hmm. you've won Dancing with the Stars. Is that weird? Yeah, it's kind of weird. I mean, can can it's you like? Awesome. Is that crazy yeah. when you like? I won Dancing with the Stars. It, it, it just kind of blows my mind a little bit. I'm like, is it, if it's been on for what th- 13 years, right? right? Yeah. And, We'll watch it and 25 seasons in, whatever, excuse me. I'm like, I I did that show and yeah. I won it. Like I'm yeah. one of 25 people oh that won that show. I said, blow, that's just strange. Wow. Like to think about the whole trajectory. I've been in the industry for 14 years, like the whole trajectory. And I'm grateful that it's taken the amount of time that it has for the ball to be rolling and so mm-hmm. on and so mm-hmm. forth. I'm like, I don't know. It's just kind of. It's, it was awesome. It That's was an amazing so cool. experience. Hardest thing I've ever done. I was going to say, I, I did, on a, such a small, tiny, mm. insignificant scale, I did like a mini <laughs> dancing with local <laughs> local people. I love it. And it was difficult. And I'm a dancer by like background from right, when I was right. three. And even with those skills, I was like, I don't know if I can do this. If you've never done ballroom, you are out of You're screwed. Like, you are screwed. Because I'm a dancer, but I did it yeah. myself. Like when you're trying to dance with a partner and you don't know those rules. Right. I'm like, but it's funny well, because you make any of the pros dance by themselves. They're so uncomfortable. Right. They they're need so a person. Lonely. Yeah. They're, Gosh. they're comfortable when they have weight to manipulate. Things Ooh, to do. Like that's when, interesting. And I'm like, what? It's called, what frame? I know <laughs> your space, my space. Yeah. You're going to lead me. Excuse yeah. me because I know what I'm doing. Yeah. It's weird. So that had to be so hard and like physically taxing. Yeah. Mentally, emotionally, like the whole thing. It's, it's a lot. I mean, the, the way that I like to describe it is I've had like talking to a journalist or whatever for an interview and I'm like hey do you, do you hear, here's kind of how I'll break it down for you I'll, I'll dilute it down to this one thing right here do you know sports yes do you cover sports no nah, not really like could you you think maybe if you had like you know a little bit to, pre- to prep for like one game right, right? Mm-hmm. like yeah maybe if, like, if I had a couple weeks to like really understand what I was talking about or whatever then kind of sure thing. yeah sure like I know sports enough to okay cool that's me with dance cool here we go. Great. You ready? Mm. Super Bowl calls you, says you have five days to learn how to cover the Super Bowl. At the end of the game, three of the best sports journalists are going to judge you and rate you. 
and give you a score. Oh and God. then if America likes you, they're going to vote for you. And then if they like you, they'll keep you on for the next week and you'll learn how to do the NBA finals. And you're going to like, that's. Oh my God. And my and, stomach just got like oh, clenched up. Yeah, dude, you know, can you imagine the like, phone rings? Brrr, hey, mm-hmm. you are going to cover the Super Bowl. Oh, nope. you have five days. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. That was it. Good like, luck with that. And oh you're going to do it on national TV. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No kidding. <laughs> I, this is what I'm saying. Like when I watch the show, I'm like all the credit because I can I understand on such a minuscule scale how hard it is not only just to dance with a partner but right. to do it on your own to learn it. Like yeah. mm-mm, so, mm-mm. the fact that you won and you are in that yeah. small group of the winner's yeah, circle, definitely. such a cool life accomplishment. I'm a obsessive, I, and I I just I do homework on unnecessary things, and that's like I just constantly was just watching videos, and I had the best Lindsay is the most incredible and I think the most talented that's ever graced that show and, wow. and the best teacher and the best choreographer and so I, cool. I was set up with the best in, in all honesty like I, I feel like in true transparency <laughs> <laughs> you're like I, I had a couple of things in my corner <laughs> I had Lindsay freaking Arnold and she's, right. she's the all the pros They everybody respects her so much because mm. she's so good and has mm. been for such a, such a long time at such a young age yeah um, yeah, she's incredible. That's so, so very cool. Grateful. It was awesome. So, did thank you, you have that. any like that. sort of you know because it's on such a huge scale mm. that you're doing this? Where you like when you're on Broadway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and you're touring and you're doing Hamilton. Like mm. you have that immediate crowd. But when you're on TV like that, I mean, these are millions of people that are watching. Right. What sort of like the pre-show ritual that you would go through to sort of like get your nerves out? Or did you have any? Yeah, that's that's an interesting thing. So I'm kind of not the best person to ask about that. Like I. I never have really, I've never been a nervous person. I never really have nerves. I've always, my mentality has always been if you're prepared, there's nothing to be nervous about. Mm. And, I, and I always prepare. I oftentimes over prepare. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, just because I enjoy the work. Right. I like the work mm-hmm. where, the, where the, the craft and the art is concerned. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm good. You're like, I figured so, this out already. Yeah, I'm like, I'm chilling. I prepared yeah, I, myself. I know my set. If I'm playing a concert, I did the Apple Music Festival. Dreamt of doing the Apple Music Festival. I did the very last one that has ever happened. It was, it was what, like two years ago in London. And I was backstage beforehand, chilling. Like talking mm. to talking to a grip backstage, mm-hmm. just like in a heated debate over corruption in the NBA. Oh. <laughs> like <laughs> heated. My band starts playing my intro. I have to run on because I like you forgot. I I was Where so invested Focused. in like that conversation. Wow, I, that, I've just never. That's I think incredible. that I think that whatever my nerves are, it it channels into a different part of my brain. Like it turns into something else. Yeah. I get excited. Mm-hmm. I get stoked to go. I'm like pumped to go and like do a show because mm-hmm. it's. I love it. It's yeah. my, it's what I do. Same thing for him. The only time I've ever okay, this is this cool little tidbit. I haven't really talked about this before. The only time I've ever been really nervous before performance, like actually knowing, like oh, oh, this is nervous. This is butterflies. Like I'm feeling it right now. Was the night that I debuted in Hamilton on Broadway. Mm. So I replaced Anthony Ramos, who originated the role John Lawrence on on Broadway's Hamilton's best friend, and then he comes back in the second act as Hamilton's son. So he's the only, he, he, he dies, that track dies twice, right? Mm-hmm. So Anthony Ramos, everybody loves him. He's like one of the most loved dudes to do the show. And I, at this point, it's like the biggest deal, whatever. There's all of this, you know, preconceived whatever. People are upset that they're not going to see Anthony Ramos. They have an the expectation show. They have an expectation. And mm-hmm. all of a sudden this like, you know, recording artist, you know, TV and film actor is going to come in and do Broadway, even though like they know that I got my start in theater. They're still like, you know, right. Who he's not this? a Broadway guy because he's Who making his this? Broadway debut. Exactly. Exactly. So they, all they really had to go off of in terms of live performances on a grander scale was Grease Live. That was really mm. all that they had to go off of. And right. Like, okay. So dude, he's going to be John Lawrence now. It's a very different character. <laughs> You're like, whatever. oh God, why all these expectations <laughs> exactly, now? Exactly. So you go, the kind of the way that it works when you're replacing somebody, you learn the show by yourself. You learn it with an associate choreographer and an associate music director. That's so tough. That you and you do it in a studio by yourself. Wow. And you rehearse by yourself, learn all your blocking, all your choreography, everything by yourself, and then you get two opportunities to run it with not even the full cast. You run it with understudies and covers oh my and swings and some of the ensemble and maybe a couple of like the main cast people if they're if they're there right um if they were called for that rehearsal you get two full runs of it the last run is usually a few days before you go on and then your third run of the show 
is your debut. That's it. You're live. There's 1,300 people there. Oh my God. They all paid X amount, X amount of money to see this show that they've been waiting a year and a half to see. And they expect it to be perfect. Yes. And it's three hours long. If there ever was a time to be nervous, nervous, I would probably assume that that would be it. (laughs) Because (laughs) if that doesn't make you nervous, I mean, literally. I've done pretty cool things. And that was definitely, that was a night that I'll never forget. Even Mm. like before, like the Grease Live, it was the amount of pressure that was on that show to do well. Yes. We were all chilling. We had, we just, we had a blast. And it came so, I was so, (laughs) I was like sitting (laughs) at home with my popcorn. I was like, this is nervous. I love that show. People, people hate watch those shows. You know? I, I they, love yes, it though. Yes, it depends yeah. on the show, but I was I thought that one went really Thank well. You. Thank you. Um, a couple of them have not. Yeah, yeah. but you that's know what? Fun. That's fine. I, I always enjoy the effort. Exactly. Yeah. I always enjoy always the effort, effort that goes into those productions. Yes. There, you know, there's no formula for anything, but there can be a really good chemical balance for certain things to make it the best it can possibly be. Right. right. This was the cast and the creative coming together. Like it was this specific cast. Our director Tom McHale, who also put Hamilton on Broadway. Mm. Um, our our director, sorry, our, our music director, our production designer, our crew, everything. Every it was just the the right group of people that all came together to make this show. Mm. happened the way that it did and we're all so grateful that it, it worked out it was because, good that's yeah, awesome there's a huge potential for it to not yeah well it's also Greece is the most successful musical of all time so, like, so how, you're do like, you, well, this how is... do you do that and put that in this format that obviously hasn't really worked for anybody yet and, right and not be a little wonky yeah, it's weird <laughs> weird to think about. So much pressure. Well, Jordan, thank you so much of course. for hanging out Thanks with for us. Thanks for having me. Yes. And we're excited. You'll be at Ruth Eckert Hall tonight yeah. for Dancing with the Stars hey. live. Hey, come on. Holly, do you want to get on stage with him and show him what no, you can uh-uh. do? Come on. What no. did you learn? What no. did you learn? No. <laughs> I'm not doing you. I just had told you. What was your favorite what was your favorite style? Um, I think honestly, I really think that it's a tough one. Tango, probably. That was your favorite. That's that's my favorite because I, to me, I always think it's it takes skill and precision. Yeah, it's hard. It was my that was the my first week. It was my first. I know. I like it. Definitely very difficult. Argentine tango is my favorite. Oh, very different. Ooh, it's wow. Sexy. Yeah, I'm so jealous of people like you. Just <laughs> so you can sing, you can dance. I'm I'm just I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm just oh, jealous. Yeah. If you can if you can talk, you can sing. If you can walk, it can dance. It's just a matter of putting in the. Uh, some well, of us are more clunky than others. <laughs> I don't okay. know about your singing voice. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, you listen. Uh, you. You were in the show choir for your dance moves. Uh, no, I was there just for stage presence. That's about it. Well, you bring you <laughs> bring it well. It. Okay, it. you bring it well. Uh, well, Jordan, oh, thank you so much thank for hanging you guys out with much us. Love it.